This is an awesome story. Scientists may have just discovered another Earth. Yes. Now, according to the Huffington Post, quote, the planet called Proxima B orbits a star called Proxima Centauri and has a temperature that would allow liquid water to exist there. That means the world is possibly habitable. But scientists don't know yet whether there's anything living there. So it's really interesting because, one, the scientists point out that it's rocky like planet Earth. They believe uh, because of the distance between, you know, that Goldilocks zone, the distance between mm -hmm. uh, the planet and their parent star, the sun, means that it can't be too hot or too cold. If, if it is, then you cannot uh, sustain and support liquid water, which is the key ingredient to life. So they believe that it could fall into that Goldilocks zone, which is really interesting. And Proxima b, it is about 1.3 times bigger than planet Earth, so it's a little bit more massive, and it orbits its sun uh, every 11 days. So that's where it's different. But mm -hmm. the whole Goldilocks zone thing is really interesting. Thoughts, five words or less. Ooh, Sam DeGrasse Tyson shocker. <laughs> when are we taking over? This is really cool. I don't know what else to say. I, yeah. I think it's really awesome. They've been looking for rocky planets that fit into this zone that could support liquid water for mm -hmm. forever. And they think they may have found it here. It doesn't mean that it would support life because of the radiation and all that. Could and be it also doesn't element. mean that we can get there because it's 4.1 uh, light years. 4.25 yeah. light years away. Right. It's like, that's it's so incredibly far. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? No. Are we there yet? no! But in, in the whole cosmic realm, that's not that far at all. No, absolutely. At that's, all. It's that's, actually that's, really damn close. So that's yeah. really interesting. You're right. Yeah. It, like, uh, eventually, maybe if uh, technology progresses to a certain point where we can uh, traverse uh, space and time through light I speeds. I would think that that sort of progress, that, that advancement is inevitable, right? Yeah. I mean, we, I are, too. we are going to have to leave this planet. I know it sounds crazy, but like we are going to, as a species, eventually have to move on. Is like, that we, why they call it Proxima B? As in like Plan B? Can you imagine? Yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> Be like, look, this isn't going too well. We need a Plan B, go. And then you have like it some- It seems to me like it's a much smaller planet though. No, it's 1.3 times oh, bigger. Oh, sorry, yeah. it's a much it's larger more, planet. You're right, it takes 11. Uh, it takes 11 days to orbit its okay, planet yeah, star. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. So that's or it's good. parent star, sorry, it's parent so that's star, good. so that's that, interesting. That means there's more, there's probably a likelihood that there's more resources there so we can fuck that planet up once we're done fucking this one up. That's what's sad, you're right about that. That's mm -hmm. what's really sad is like- I think that's are... the nature of our purpose. Like I, I honestly think that that is the nature of mankind is that we are like cancer on this planet and that we're just an incredibly evolved uh, uh, like organism as a whole and that our true mission is to eventually spread to other other I, I think if we were more evolved, I don't think that we would be so destructive. Mm -hmm. I think as we get, I mean, you see, like as, become, as the generations pass, we get more tolerant and we get more aware of how we are destructive. I know, but, I know, but like, for example, fracking, right? Yeah, um, yeah. Fracking is a, is a great example. This is a, it's the, where you're technically making the most out of a finite resource mm -hmm. by fracking, but then, in, but then the destruction that you bring upon uh, that ecosystem is way worse way than worse. anything that we previously could have done. So I think that yes, we do become more aware. You're 100 right. Same with right. eating meat. With like forcing, That's like yeah, the biggest cause of the, of the yeah. greenhouse effect, with contributing. For, with forcing, uh, you know, carbon emissions taxes and like trying to incorporate some sort of environmental protection acts into trade deals right. and whatnot, and trying to regulate it, like regulate other countries, third world countries that are finally becoming more industrious nations. Mm -hmm. But in the end of the day, with technological advancement. Uh, the the destruction that we bring of upon course. the resources, the natural resources that we have on this planet, are so great that morally, uh, b us being aware of it or us trying to combat it is not enough. Like overall, we I always agree. end really up destroying sad. it worse and worse. I agree. Just like how electric cars are not necessarily saving the planet. Right. You know what I mean? Yeah. And in the end, really, we're all just dust, you know, when it comes down we to are it, just we're just stardust. a speck in the universe. So don't, nothing, don't try to make a compelling point around Grace, because she'll, she'll we, bash it. We no, are I, I, am, I, am, I am acknowledging your compelling point. I do, I do agree with you. I'm also just trying to diffuse how sad that is uh, yeah. with humor, because I'm a comedian. No, well, um, sad. So that's, that's literally all I was trying to do. And I would like to insert a cool fact about space, if I may. Do um, it. Okay, there are ice volcanoes on Pluto. So mm -hmm. just, hey. 
Hey, mm -hmm. the wonder of space. Mm -hmm. I mean, because yeah, space yeah. is so cool. We could we could sit here and be like, yes, we are a cancer on this planet, and, and I think that that's Limbaugh almost. Was, and if Rush Limbaugh was, and if Rush Limbaugh was, would be like, lesbians, they want to go to space. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, space yeah. lesbians. Lesbians in space. No, I I, I agree. Like, it, there's a lot of bleak stuff that we're staring down as a as a species on this particular planet, but there's a lot of good and cool things that we can learn about in the process. I so just want alien sex, and I want it now. <laughs> <laughs> like so, I want to like go to a that cantina. Is a silver lining. Yeah. Like I want to go to a cantina somewhere, like an intergalactic cantina, and just be like, "Yo, tentacles, come here. What's up?" You know what I mean? And then yeah, that Did way. Did you just say yo tentacles? No, he likes that yeah. because it fills up every hole. You yeah. Know? No, oh, for sure. That's, that's I, I need ears, to be plugged in all my big holes. Big ear guy, all the holes. <laughs> You're so stupid. So. Wow. Okay. All right. Please share your thoughts in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe. We'll see you next time on Pop Trigger.